there's a problem with mall Santas. They don't smell like Christmas. All right. You smell like beef and cheese, you don't smell like Santa. People's memories of Christmas are undeniably vivid, and often just smelling the smells can bring those memories rushing back. But whenever you look for the scent of Christmas, all you'll find is cinnamon-scented candles and pine-fresh airwicks. I want the real deal. But is it even possible to bottle the scent of Christmas? There's only one way to find out. Now, before we try to bottle the scent of Christmas, I needed to figure out what Christmas smells like to most people. So I headed to the mall and interviewed anybody who would talk to me. Uh, so what does Christmas smell like to you? Like anything, so pine or cinnamon? I'm say it's actually cinnamon. Cinnamon? Yep. Any reason? Every year my grandparents used to make um, homemade candies and they used cinnamon a lot. Um, I would say it smells like pines, cones. Pines, um, okay. I mean, I would honestly say sugar cookies. Cold air, but cold air has a smell. It does, you're so right. Pine Pine trees. Pine trees. Pine? Definitely pine trees. A tree just being cut like my family used to cut them in. Sometimes we cut a tree but find some squirrels on it. Squirrels? Yeah. Okay. A uh, pine. So pine, okay. Cranberry. Okay. An empty leather wallet. Sure. And broke. Cinnamon and spices. Uh Peppermint. Evergreen Christmas trees. Peppermint. Christmas cookies. All right. What's our Starbucks drink? Caramel brulee. Yeah. All right. Marshmallow Fireside. Mar Mar what is Marshmallow Fireside? It's a candle from Bath and Body Works. From Amazing. Vanilla Bean Noel. Is that from Bath and Body yes. Works? We got two Bath and Body Works. Anything that's not a TM scent. Vanilla Bean Noel is going to be expensive to license. Yeah, yeah. The smell of baking cookies. Baking cookies. Like gingerbread houses yeah, and all that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. That's perfect. Thank you, guys. After the interviews, I also put out a survey to my friends, patrons, and subscribers to collect some hard data. I asked people to select up to 10 cents that remind them of Christmas, and I also randomized the list each time so that people don't always pick the same first 10. At this point, it's been about two days since I put out the survey, and I've gotten quite a few responses. So just to give you a brief overview, I put a ton of scents on here. I didn't want them all to be obvious Christmas scents because I didn't want people to just pick everything or pick just the first 10. I wanted to make sure that when it was randomized, there was stuff that people were like, oh yeah, definitely no. If I leave this up, feel free to fill it out. It'll be in the description. The top two by far are pine slash Christmas trees and freshly baked cookies. Candy canes, surprisingly, only 28% of people selected. A lot of people also picked cinnamon. A lot of people actually picked fire or wood smoke. Nine people said your grandma. Two people said stale air. A couple people said too much cologne. So obviously we've got a lot of information to work with here. And after looking through the scents, I think I've got it narrowed down to a few that are gonna be a pretty good blend for our purposes. The next step here is to just kind of start putting the scents together. Now I could easily buy most of these scents online, but that's kind of boring. We're gonna try doing it with the cheapest distillation setup that I could find on Amazon. All right, so we've got our distillation rig set up here. We're gonna take these cloves, which contain clove oil, and we're gonna put them in here to mix it in with the water. Light. We're gonna light this guy. We're gonna light. Dang it, torch, come on. There we go. So the idea is that the uh, water will start to boil and so will the oil. And because both of them are boiling off, go over here and down and through and into there. And because the oil is lighter than the water, it'll float on top. At least this is the theory. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? Getting some action, finally. It's happening. We're getting drips. Okay, so we've been at this for about two hours now, and and uh, we have distilled this much liquid. So you know, like we've got about 20 milliliters of that 20 milliliters. From what I can tell, that dot right in the middle, that little circle, that is literally all the essential oil that we've distilled. That was super lame. Making essential oils takes forever, and we're doing it on such a small scale that we're not getting any like usable amount of oil out of it. So instead, I decided to pre-buy a bunch of essential oils, different flavors, and now I'm gonna put them together into a useful scent with the help of my girlfriend, people. Hi. Okay. So the idea here is that we're gonna try to mix the scents together into something that smells like Christmas, right? So I know what kind of a flavor we're going for, right? We're not going for 
just something that smells good. We're trying to find something that smells accurate. We're gonna take a drop of each of them and put them on their own thingy. Okay. And then we can like hold them up and smell them and compare. Okay. What is teak wood? Is it just wood? It's teak. What's teak? I don't know. Oh, this doesn't smell like wood at all, but it smells really nice. Smell this smells like an anthropology. I like this. We should put a lot of this in there. I read somewhere that the smell of old books is basically grass plus vanilla. What? <laughs> all right. <laughs> No. No. Maybe if I include some leather? It's a little bit better. The cut grass is too strong. Maybe you should add some of the bonfire in there. <laughs> We're just gonna have every flavor in there and then that's gonna be our scent. Here's the idea. So I looked into how to make your own cologne. Okay. Because I felt like that would be a good place to start. Making cologne, basically they're like, okay, so you're gonna have three key components. You have the top, you have the middle, and you have your base. And these are like your different notes. When people are like, oh, yeah, there's a note of this in the perfume. That, like apparently that's a real term. Something that's kind of strong, but not very sharp as your base. So something like a leather. Then above that, you're gonna have something that's a little bit more neutral. So maybe like vanilla. And then at the top, you're gonna have something really sharp. So right now, the five cents we're working with are leather, vanilla, campfire, fur, and musk. And together, in like just kind of a blend, these smell pretty accurate, you would say? Yeah? I think okay. so. They, yeah, some of them, they feel like looking at them, I'd be like, why would you put that in there? Right. But, uh, when they're put together, leather and mm -hmm. um, musk, those things come together that feel like home. You know, yeah, no, yeah. it makes it feel aged, like it's yeah. been around for a while. So I like what we've got cooking here, but the thing is the ratios are all off. Like, you can smell all of these things together, but like there's not a very good balance. Do you want to start with the like recommended yeah. ratios of... Yeah. To make this Christmas scented cologne, we made a 35% alcohol base for the essential oils. It took about five blends, but eventually Sandra and I found one that we thought smelled pretty accurate. With Scent Complete, we needed to test how good it was. So we headed to the mall and pitted it against a professional scent called Merry Christmas Cheer from the Bath & Body Works What Christmas Smells Like line. Oh yeah, yeah, that's... It's night and day. Yeah, that one smells like fruit. This one smells like your house, right? Yeah, all right. But the real question is whether other people agree with us. First person's always the hardest because nobody wants to talk. Can you tell me which one of these smells more like Christmas to you? All right, Scent, now smell this one. This one? How come? Well, we're down by one. Where we're trying to find what Christmas really smells like. So here's A. All right, here's B. Yeah, A. Really? Yeah. What? It definitely doesn't really smell like much. That it smells like Target soap. Yeah. So here, you can start with either one. This one, you think? Ew. Yo, all right, cool. So this one is from Bath and Body Works, and this one, like, we made in, like, my basement, That's right? Cool. Yeah, no, it does, because it smells more like your actual house, right? It's for sure. Yeah, there you go. What? Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, we got one. So we're working on a YouTube video to try to find the scent of Christmas one. I feel like the fact that anybody agrees with me is just a miracle. Two smells here. Can you tell us which one smells more like Christmas? Which one do you think? This one? Yeah. All right. Thank you. So try, just smell both. I think this one smells like You think this one? Heck yeah. I smell both. Here's this one. I know, it's tough. Which one? This one? Yes! All right. You can try that one first. You can try that one. I feel like this one's more floral. Yeah. That one's more like piney, maybe? Yeah? I think so, yeah. Which one do you think smells, I guess, more like, like what your house smells like around Christmas? I would say not the floral one. This one? Yeah. All right, cool. Try this one, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, You think the first uh, one? Yeah, what do you uh, think? Do you want to try them? I'll give this one. I would say, I think B, maybe. You think? Okay. And then there's that one. This one. This one? 
All right, thank you very much. As it turns out, the results were actually pretty mixed. More people thought that my scent smelled like Christmas than I thought might. But at the same time, a lot of people also thought that it didn't smell like Christmas. To me, this says that Christmas smells a little bit different to everyone. But if you want to decide for yourself whether what I made smells like Christmas, I'm going to be selling tiny little baggies with pre-scented cards for just like a couple bucks on my website. These will help support the channel a little bit and also, of course, you get to try the scent. And I'll also be giving these for free to anyone who supports my Patreon as well. Thank you guys so much for the support this year. It's been awesome. This video was a lot of fun to make. I know it's a little bit different than the kind of stuff that I usually make, but let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below. If you want to see more stuff like this one, make sure you get subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and I will see you guys in the new year. Peace.